We're back, whether you like us or not. Holy shit. We also have a third guy with us. Hello, third guy. Hi. I'm free. My number is free, and free is the number of counting. Wait a minute, this, this isn't the fucking Insomniac logo. What the shit is this? Huh. Weird. Oh my god. Hey, I've seen that guy. I know that guy. Uh, it's Jim. He works in accounting. Hmm, yes. Anyway, we're playing God of War, which is a fun action hack and slash game, which pretty much spawned all of the good and bad things you see in modern day hack and slashes, <laughs> like, like, like square for light attack and triangle for heavy attack and quick time events. Uh, excuse me, I'll have you know that Shenmue God. back on the uh, Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fly, Kratos. You're just gonna hurt yourself, Kratos. Well, I'll show them. I'll show them that they were wrong. <laughs> yes, I like when menus do stuff like that. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all... He's falling really just apathetically, and I like it. Uh, everyone was right! Not gonna lie, that line at the beginning, it still makes me mark out for this game. Yep. So good. This game is good. It's not the greatest God of War. And Kratos died. It End of game. <laughs> it's not the greatest God of War, but it's still really good. Starting to hold, show its age, though, so... Well, yeah, it's an early PS2 game. Eh, I think 2004. You know, this was fairly late in the life cycle. Yeah. Like, I remember a specific interview was talking about how, oh, wow, this game looks amazing, because we finally learned how to harness the awesome power of the PS2. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, it's your basic hack and slash. You push square attack for, you push the square button for light hacks, you push the triangle for heavy attacks. You can string them into combos. You can, uh, push circle to grab dudes, and after you grab dudes, you can use buttons to do horrible things to them. Like that. You pulled that guy apart by his dick. Yup. That's if you heavy attack them. Um, you saw me spin a dude around by my sword earlier. That's if you light attack them. And, yeah. So these are, like, the easiest dudes in the game, and I keep getting my shit wrecked by them because I'm just so used to having buckets of health. Sign of things <laughs> to come. <laughs> no, I swear, I'm pretty good at this game. I beat it on the hardest difficulty once. Just like how you put it, Ratchet and Clank. Shut up. No, shut up. I'm good at video games! Let's <laughs> not start that. Uh, so this is the HD remaster re. Yes, it is. It's done by Bluepoint, who I swear are just fucking wizards because they make everything look amazing. They did, um, Titanfall on the 360, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they somehow made Titanfall, a game that barely runs on the Xbox One, run on the Xbox 360. Yeah, I was about to say, Titanfall doesn't even run on the Xbox One. Um, so you'll see that there is a hit thing down in the, um, about middle-ish right of the screen when I'm actually getting a combo. The higher combos you get, the more red orbs you get, and red orbs are basically your experience points. All the hinges in this game are really rusty. <laughs> yes, it takes Kratos. I'm... Uh, Kratos is like a mountain of muscle, and it takes him several seconds to open up anything. Also, the environment's destructible. You get piddly amounts of experience points for it. Why else do you think no one has stolen all those tasty orbs? Only Kratos can open the chests. <laughs> okay, so this guy, he's pretty uninteresting. He has a basic two-bite that I always get messed up on at least once, and then he has like a rapid fire attack that's much easier to block. You block with the L1 button is very important to block, especially on the hardest difficulty where those basic guys that I was fighting last bit, last fight, they can kill you in four hits on the hardest difficulty. Dang. Yeah, and this is a quick time event. Usually they're random, but for this first basic fight, it's always just a triangle fest. I think this is part. This is the beginning when you first really start to see quick time events showing up everywhere. Yeah. 
Oh, and... Oh, jeez. This is where my hatred of narrow beams in video games come from, is because I died a lot. This game is horrible for balance beams. This is the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, this this game has like some of the worst balance beams ever, and it makes me hate balance beams in video games to this day, yeah. even though they're not so bad anymore. No, I got stuck on a balance beam in this game for weeks. <laughs> Everyone knows that one balance beam. Yeah. That one. I'm, I'm just glad that balance beams in video games, especially in the God of War games, like they just stopped being a thing. So, you'll notice that the experience bar up at the top doesn't really tell you exactly how much experience you have. Uh, for whatever reason, when that number fills up to a number like that, uh, that's 300 experience. Hmm. Huh. And these are harpies, they are annoying and they fly, and they have a really... Like, a fucking brutal grab attack. Like, if you grab them while they are on the ground, you just instantly kill them in the worst possible way. <laughs> Here we go. It is. Ooh. Yeah. Yo. All I have to say is, from playing the Challenge of the Gods, fuck these guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to Challenge of the Gods. Eventually. Uh, oh, oh, speaking of which, I've been planning this Let's Play for a very long time. To the point where I have footage of this game that is over a year old at this point. Yes, literally years in the making. No, literally year in the making. Years is a number of years. <laughs> yeah, this this game was going to be immediately after Into the Nexus, and then I had computer issues. His computer just died. It's dead. Oh, and you can kill civilians, and you get help for it. <laughs> and... There might there might be a reason why they don't like you. Just, just a, <laughs> you know. So this guy, he'll smash his big stupid head in three places, and then he'll try to bite you, and then he'll also sweep around. This is teaching you, uh, you have a dodge move. Not every attack can be blocked, so you have to dodge the ones that can't be blocked, and that's just do done with the right analog stick, because there's no camera control in these games. It's all a pre-rendered camera, but for the most part, it's pretty agreeable. Dodge is super helpful in this game. Yeah, dodge is really good. Learn to be super good at dodging. Yes. And also, I would have faded out by now, but I'm trying to get this guy to do one more attack that he just doesn't want to do. The big jerk. Yeah. Video editing But yes, master. this attack right here can't be blocked, so you have to dodge out of the way. This spinny thing, though, it can be uh, blocked. As well as his bite. Just do the fucking move. Thank you. Okay, so once oh. he does this, just mash circle, and you take off like a quarter of his health. Still hate that move. But uh, let's fast forward to the end of the fight there, because I've shown off everything that he can do. But yes, this game was made in 2004. Four, and the sequel was made so late into the PS2's uh, life cycle that in some of the bonus videos for the second game, they act they're actually talking how the game looks better than some launch PS3 titles. Hmm. Yeah, I believe that launch PS3 titles didn't look real great. Oh, God. Nobody knew how to use that architecture at all. And then Naughty no. Dog came along, he's like, this is how you do it. <laughs> Okay, so you can launch enemies into the air by uh, pushing and holding triangle, and if you hit them, then you can just juggle them endlessly, but I'm having trouble actually hit- there we go! I like those, um, two dudes in the background just fending off the Hydra with a pair of oars. <laughs> they truly they are the real heroes. Yes. And... what? Not yet. I actually don't die. Nope. Nope, it doesn't happen. I was very surprised. <laughs> I was completely prepared to die at this part, but nope, it just doesn't happen. Oh yeah, we have intersections with balance beams. Yeah. And if you want to get red orbs, then you might have to go that way. It's not super important, because there's only like... In this first game, there's only like two useful things to upgrade, really. Really one, but... No, no, it's two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm, 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 trust me, too. Hey, don't make me argue when I'm drinking something. <laughs> pre-rendered cutscenes! Yeah, you can definitely tell when these hit pre-rendered. It's, it's you! The visions, they were real! Kratos takes the an arrow to the head, game over. <laughs> no, we already know he has to live through the whole thing, because then he has to commit suicide later. No, he doesn't. This is Greek myth. You can die a bunch, be fine. Yeah, just don't look back, or you turn into a pillar of salt. Them's the rules. <laughs> Chris is just like, oh, whatever, this shit again. Oh, that glowy light is a safe point, but I don't need it. Oh, and this is introducing, uh, kicking mechanics of boxes. Like, you need this in order to get up to the place where those archers are, because your normal double jump doesn't do it, so you have to get on top of the box and do it. And you push really slow, especially in this first game. Holy shit, this first game is... God damn it! <laughs> Eat shit. Pillar of Salt was Christian mythology, but what was I thinking with... There's someone who looked... Isn't it also in Persephone? With a gay's wife back from the uh, underworld, but she looked back or whatever. Was that Pillar of Salt too? It might have been. I'm getting shit confused. Yeah. Who knows? But yes, archers are the weakest enemy in the type in the game, especially these dudes who are the weakest enemy in the game, so the weakest enemy type with the weakest enemy means that they just die like candy. So really, harpies are tougher than these guys? Uh, uh harpies, harpies might be on par with them, hmm. actually. <laughs> oh, God. What was that? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I I can't hear you. You're, you're you're trying to speak through a door. My tinnitus is acting up. I just had a hydra scream in my face multiple times. We haven't in invented ear protection yet. <laughs> well, we can't get in there. Yeah, so you finally think to investigate it. Just stay there for five minutes with it screaming. Wait, what's this? <laughs> oh, you can also fight on cliff tops and ropes and stuff, uh, you never want to use the long swipe attack because it's completely garbage and awful on, while climbing. Like, that right there is so slow. Ugh. Also, get used to fighting like this. Uh, look at that rope texture. Just, just look at the edges. Most of the time you'll see me grab dudes because grabbing dudes just, like, instantly kills them as opposed to, like, spending forever attacking them. And... You can jump up and to the sides on them, but you, there's no quick descent button. Oh that, yeah, not in the first game. Really pissed me off. I get that it's a PS2 game, but that is a lazy, lazy rope texture. <laughs> yeah. It, it. I. I think it is literally a 2D texture on a 3D. Oh um, yeah. Look at the edges of it, though. They just cut it. They don't even bother yeah. to try. <laughs> Look, they're dancing. <laughs> yeah, the only time the um the sword stuff is useful is when you're doing quick jab and there's like more than one dude that you can hit at a time. Also a time to have to when this guy's across a pit or whatever. Uh, nah, I, at that point I just wait for them to jump over and then I grab them. I'm impatient. <laughs> there you go. Later, guys. And you want to slide down that rope, but if you come over this way first, you get a red chest orb. You get a red orb chest. Like how daintily he's sneaking across like... <laughs> don't trip, don't trip, don't trip, don't That's trip, because k is barely pressing forward on the analog stick. No, no, this is a, no, this is as fast as you can go. Oh, I thought you were going slow. Fuck off. No, no, this is as fast as you can go on narrow platforms. I seem to remember the best way to do it is go slow, but whatever. Nope. It's been like eight years. <laughs> Those yeah. crates are not properly secured. Hmm. They are going to fall over the first time the ship rocks. Maybe they were properly secured and then the Hydra thing happened. All right, sure. All right, and these are Gorgonize. Uh, if you collect six of them, you get a permanent increase to your health. Because fuck Gorgons. Yeah, Gorgons are dicks. Well, actually, I guess they'd be... I guess they'd be bitches. Who knows? They don't get. Well, I'm, they're all female. 
Kratos, yeah, you don't know that. You reach Athens, I actually do. How do you know about any transsexual Gorgons? <laughs> oh, 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 I forgot to check my privilege. <laughs> no, seriously, don't talk about him, my friend. No, don't, please. You will need assistance. You will need the power. Oh yeah, this is Poseidon. Uh, I will talk about him very, very far into the future, but long story short, Poseidon's a dick. All the great gods are dicks, let's just be honest here. Not all of them, just a vast majority of them. The Dionysus is cool. Yeah, Dionysus is pretty great. Yeah. I don't think he screws anybody over. Oh no, no, there, there is. Uh, anyway, um, so we got Poseidon's Rage, which is our first spell, and it's just an area of effect thing. It does, it hits a bunch, but each hit is individually weak, but like, it, it hits like for a shitload. Yeah, it's an area of effect spell. Yep. It's nice. It's the only good spell in the game. Well, one of two good spells in the game. Uh. And then there's this blue orb thing. Blue orbs are magic. Back. Back. Get them away from the ship! Why won't they die? Come on, guys. You can do it. You got ores. You're oh, okay. Oh. Just... Hit him with the fold-up newspaper and let him know that he's dead. <laughs> Spray him with water. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about our lord and savior, Poseidon. <laughs> it, uh, you thought the last enemies were big? Uh, yeah, these, this guy makes them look like chump change. <sighs> Mondays. <laughs> When I'm done killing this guy, I can clock out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, now we have to fight two Hydra Heads at once. However, Three. it's not nearly as boring because now we have magic. And magic just tears through them. And they have a new attack, they'll just suck you over to them and uh... Super rude. Yeah. So it's my turn to fight him! <laughs> you go in front. You are at no. I want him. No. But yes, uh, these guys will hemorrhage blue magic once you um, once you hurt them enough. So it's pretty safe just to spam magic at them for the most part. But maybe not spam it because it Poseidon's rage takes up a lot of magic, but it's enough to use it liberally. Oh, and then once you kill them. If you don't do this fast enough, they'll just get back up and start fighting you again at yeah. full health, I think. Yep. So Super you want to jump fun. up here, and now he's pinned down. He can't fight anymore, so let's go take care of his brother. That thing was really carefully weighted. <laughs> <laughs> so again, not to do that video game thing, but why is that there? Uh... Reasons. What purpose does that incredibly it's sharp? It's the anti-hydra device. <laughs> I think it might. I think it might actually be an anchor. But why is it that sharp? It yeah, hung above I'd, the deck. I'd... And also <laughs> made of iron, apparently. Yeah. I don't think the Greeks had iron. So this guy has two attacks. One, he'll roar you off the platform, which does nothing but waste your time. And then he'll try and bite the platform. And biting the platform, all you have to do to avoid it is just use Poseidon's Rage right before it hits, and then you'll hurt him, and then avoid all damage, because Poseidon's Rage gives you invincibility frames. Well, you also have channeling the god's power, so... This guy, he's really easy. Once you take him down enough, you want to do a quick time event where you have the mass circle, and then you'll bash him into the mast, and then do that three times, and you can finally kill him. But let's learn more about him, okay? Before we talk about the Hydra in earnest, I have to talk about Hercules real quick. I don't want to get too into it because Hercules will get his own segment in a very, very long time from now, so I'm just going to give you the bare bones Cliff Notes version. Hercules was the son of Zeus and a mortal woman. Hera hated him for basically just existing. She made him go crazy, kill his wife and kid, so now he has to go through 12 impossible tasks to clear his name. Got it? Good. The Hydra is one of the most famous monsters in Greek mythology, which I guess is why it was made the first boss in the God of War series ever. The Hydra made its lair in the Lake of Lerna, which in real life is located in Argos in the eastern part of the Peloponnese Peninsula. 
a huge monster with nine snake-like heads, the Hydra was a fearsome beast. Every time you cut off one of its heads, two more would grow in place. On top of that, one of the heads was actually immortal, so if you cut it off, it would just slither around and still generally be a threat. Another thing most media tends to overlook is that the Hydra was also an extremely poisonous creature, so not only could it breathe a poisonous gas at its prey and would-be heroes that would try to kill it, but its blood was also an extremely potent poison. All in all, it was one of the more deadly creatures in Greek mythology. Now we come back to Hercules, who was fresh killing off what can be considered Hydra's sibling, the Nemean Lion. So Hercules was tasked with killing off the Hydra. See, the Hydra would terrorize the villages around Lake Lerna, so King Eurystheus, the dude in charge with coming up with Hercules' impossible tasks, basically said, well, you killed one child of Typhon and Echidna, wanna go for two? So Hercules went with his n nephew Iolus to fight the Hydra. While Hercules cut off the beast's heads, Iolus would run in with a lit torch and cauterize the wounds before more heads would grow in his place. As for the immortal head, well, Hercules wasn't really a thinking man, so he just sort of crushed it under a rock where it wouldn't bother anyone. After the fight was over, Hercules took some of the Hydra's poisonous blood to use on his arrows, which would come in handy in later trials, but we'll save those for another day. Alright, so that was the Hydra. Infotainment, everybody! Yeah! Hey, guess. By the way, I fucking love Greek mythology! Hey, guess who's LP Caitlin? Just watch. <laughs> uh, actually, no. You really should watch the Zorak I, in the social media. Cutscene! But yeah, that. Yeah. This fight's actually fun. It's just like. The fights in God of War just. are basic <laughs> recognition. <laughs> they do that. For some reason. Yeah. Well, you kill the big guy. I mean. It's, you know, to prevent the authorities from getting the valuable Hydra data. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the meat level. Oh, you had a reflection. Yeah, fucking PS2 days. Dude, this guy's a champ. Look at this guy. I know, right? And now Kratos is a big asshole for no reason. Thank you. Really? The gods, you came back for me. I didn't come back for you. I'm not paying the fare. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. All right, so we killed a dude for no reason for his key. Kratos. Horrible dick. Yep. Greek hero, everybody. Yep. <laughs> and we get to go on the zip line. Wee! Woohoo! <sighs> also, the um the perspective can be a little weird sometimes in this game because it's a fixed perspective. So <laughs> I completely missed. <laughs> It's odd. It's it's hard to explain. It's a wrong It's rope. just really weird. Yeah, and for some reason the ships are tied to each other? It's so they don't get lost. Um... Oh, look. Archers. Hey guys, we just kind of chumped a Hydra. Just, <laughs> you can just leave. We won't come after you, I swear. Uh, in a previous recording, I was doing this game on hard difficulty before I realized all of the enemies are kind of uh, damage sponges in hard difficulty, and it was really boring to watch, and I almost died on this fight. <laughs> yeah. Because this game comes about time when hard difficulty just meant, eh, fuck, it just make the enemies take more damage. Um, to be fair, this game is actually really easy on normal. Yeah. Like, ridiculously easy. Like, I don't think I am in any danger of dying at any From point. From the enemies. Game. From the enemies, yeah. Oh god, there will be points where I will definitely die to some bullshit, like, environmental like thing. Like balance beams. <sighs> yeah, that's the main and one. And that cylinder thing that's coming later. Oh god. Oh yeah, I should mention, I have platinumed this game before, and in order to platinum it, you have to beat it in less than five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ladies, Kratos is coming to... Oh. <laughs> ladies? This is a really leaky ship. 
Look, the rain is still pouring in here, almost as heavy as it is outside. There you go. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. oh Close man. enough. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Greek. He's probably still gonna. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Greek mythology. Yeah, because mythology's so kind of fucked up, which is why I love it. And, of course, they show everything, you know, because... Also, the creator of this game is kind of fucked up. Yeah. Oh, I should also mention that this is the first M-rated game I ever bought by myself. Ooh. Ooh. And the second game immediately starts with pits. <laughs> mm, I don't think the second game immediately starts with tits. It takes about as long as it takes in this game, which, hey, speaking of which... Just put a little greater space over each tipple. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not censoring this. Aww. Yeah, just that one guy in Sandcastle is just gonna get mad. We I just saw care. this! <laughs> what do you want? God damn it. So the way I knew my computer was fucking up was when I was, uh... Recording this game for the first time, it, the sound was really desynced to the point where, like, when he screams Athena, you see you see him scream, and then a full <laughs> second later, when Athena is opening her eyes, you hear Athena. Wow, the Japanese dub. <laughs> Get it up! Great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. Also, I don't know that if that forbidding gods to wage war on each other thing is a thing the game made up or if it was an actual thing in Greek mythology. They kind of screwed each other over all the time. Well, yeah, but I don't know if they, they ever straight up fought, God, fought each other in a war or whatever. No, I don't think so, but they did like to have little slap fights. It was basically their baseball. They just mainly remember fucking with uh, each other's like consorts and like couldn't know and the mortals they like. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. Like the whole Hercules thing is basically a god slap fight. Yeah, pretty much. Greeks just love to mess with the mortal world. Athens, 